In this problem, we are constructing a soup cup, which is in the shape of a cylinder that can hold uh, about uh, 400 cubic centimeters of soup. And we are also given the cost information for constructing the sides as well as the bottom. To construct the sides and bottom, uh, it requires about 0 0.04 cents per square meter. The cost is this much. And for constructing the top, it uh, requires about 0 0.05 cents per square meter. And finally, we have to minimize the production cost. So let's see how to find out this one. Basically, we optimize the production cost uh, of uh, constructing this uh, soup cup. So this actually comes under the category of optimization using calculus. We can follow these strategies to solve this, uh, this type of problems. So essentially, we have to draw a picture first. And then we have to identify the quantity that is to be maximized or minimized and find a formula for it. This is basically the objective function. And uh, using the given constraints, we have to rewrite the objective function as a function of only one variable. And finally, we can use the calculus to maximize or minimize the objective function. So let's perform each steps one by one so that we can minimize the production cost. So in the first step, uh, we have to draw a picture. So let's uh, draw a picture of the soup cam, which is in the shape of a cylinder. So this more perfectly looks like a cylinder. So we know that uh, we have to cover this area. We have some materials. Here it is given as a styrofoam. And we have this top, some top material as well as the bottom material. So this is the cylinder or the soup cup, which is in the shape of a cylinder. We know that the volume of the cylinder is given as uh, 400 cubic centimeters. Let me write down this as uh, cc, ccm cubic centimeters. And uh, so we know that the volume of the cylinder is pi r squared h. This is equal to 400. Let me write down without the units. I'm going to solve for h from this one. So I keep h on the left hand side and I will have h equals 400 by pi r squared. So this is one relation which I got for h. Now uh, I can write down the area of the sides as well as for the bottom. Area of the side is basically the circular area of the cylinder. So we have a formula for that. So area of the side, this is equal to 2 pi r h. And uh, area of the base is equal to area of base equal to pi r squared. And it is exactly the same for the top as well. So we'll be using these two formulas and uh, minimize the production cost. Now let's uh, move on to the second step. Identify the quantity that is to be maximized or minimized. So we have identified that we have to minimize the production cost. So this is our objective function. Now using the given constraints, we are moving into the third step. We have to rewrite the objective function as a function of only one variable. So let's first write a function for a production cost. So let's write down the production cost. So this is basically the cost of constructing the sites plus cost constructing the bo bottom. I just group this and put this as together because the charge or the rate of uh, constructing the sides and bottom is the same. However, the cost of constructing the top is different. So I'm just writing it separately. So this is how it is. So let's write down the equations or the relations of cost of constructing the sites. So cost of constructing the sites is area times the rate. So area of the sites is which we have already written. It is 2 pi r h plus cost of constructing the basis uh, area of the base times the uh, rate. We know that the rate of uh, constructing the sides and bottom is 0 0.04 cents. So I'm going to multiply this quantity by 0 0.04 plus cost of constructing the top, which is area times the rate. We know that the area of the top is pi r squared and the rate for the constructing the top is 0 
so we can put pi r squared multiplied by the rate which is 0 0.05 cents let's simplify this uh, as much as possible observe that uh, we have pi r squared multiplied by 0 0.04 as well as pi r squared multiplied with 0 0.05 so we can factor out the pi r squared from these two quantities so first let me distribute this 2 pi r h with 0 0.04 so when I do that I will be getting 2 pi r h times of uh, 0 0.04 plus I have uh, pi r squared times 0 0.04 plus pi r squared times 0 0.05 which means if I factor the pi r squared I have to add these two quantities that is 0 0.04 plus 0 0.05 and this in fact is 0 0.09 so you can simply put this as 0 0.09 now we can see that the production cost involves uh, variables r and h uh, everything else is uh, just a number or a constant so we have to convert this into just one new variable so let's go ahead and convert only to r variable which means we have to rewrite this h in terms of r for that uh, we can utilize this uh, expression we have this equation h equals 400 by pi r squared so i'm going to substitute for h over here so this will become 2 pi r times of 400 divided by pi r squared multiplied by 0 0.04 plus pi r squared times of 0 0.09 you can simplify this further you can see that uh, we can cancel this r as 1 power which is and we can also cancel this pi and pi and 2 times of 400 is uh, 800 divided by r times 0 0.04 plus uh, the second I don't as 0 0.09 pi which is essentially a number times of r squared we can also further simplify this I multiply 800 with uh, 0 0.04 which is uh, 32 divided by r plus this will become 0 0.09 pi r squared so you can write down this as a function of r so this is the production cost function which is in terms of r now we can see that this is completely in terms of one variable we now apply the calculus uh, first and second derivative to test to determine the minimum production cost uh, so for that we have to find the first derivative because the maximum or minimum value occurs at the first derivative and when it is equal to zero so let me find the first derivative of uh, p of r which is uh, p prime of r i have to differentiate the right side expressions as well so first let me differentiate this 32 by r with respect to r so i can just put the 32 as it is uh, remember that uh, this 1 by r we can convert this as r power minus 1 and when you differentiate uh, d by dr with uh, r power minus 1 this is equal to minus 1 r power minus 1 minus 2 which is minus 2 so we can write down this as minus of 1 by r squared so bas basically the differentiation of 1 by r is negative 1 by r squared so let me write down this as negative 1 by r squared plus 0 0.09 pi times of differentiation of r squared using the power rule is we put the 2 that is exponent in front and reduce the power by 1 so it becomes 2 r power 1 which is essentially 2 r so this is the expression that we get for p prime of r to find out the maximum or the minimum we have to set this uh, p prime of r equal to 0 because the minimum value occurs at the first derivative is 0 we have to put p prime of r equal to 0 and find the corresponding r so when we do that we get uh, 0 equals minus 32 by r squared plus uh, we can in fact uh, simplify this 0 0.09 times 2 is 0 0.18 this is 0 0.18 pi r 
now we have to determine the r from this let's solve this so if i add this quantity negative 32 by r squared on both sides i'll be getting 32 by r squared equals 0.18 pi r now i'm multiplying both sides by r squared so therefore i get uh, 32 equal to 0.18 pi r cube and then i divide both sides by this quantity 0.18 pi and uh, solve for r so therefore r cube is equal to 32 by 0.18 pi and uh, we can plug this into the calculator so we can find r from this we have to take the cube root on both sides so basically r is equal to cube root of 32 by 0.18 pi so when you plug this into the calculator we get the value of r equals 3.84 centimeter we will now verify that if this r gives the minimum production so for that we have to do the second derivative test so i'm going to copy the first derivative of p of r which is uh, negative 32 by r squared let me copy this it uh, looks like it's not copying properly so let me write it down I have uh, P prime of R this is equal to negative 32 by R square plus 0.18 pi r okay so we will find the second derivative of this one we have to differentiate both sides so let me write down this as p double prime of r this is equal to minus 32 i have to differentiate this one by r squared one by r squared is equal to r power minus two so when i differentiate this i apply the power rule this will become minus 2 r power we have to reduce the power by 1 it will become minus 3 so this can be written as minus 2 by r cube so the differentiation of 1 by r squared is minus 2 by r cube which i can write down here and then plus 0.18 pi differentiation of r is just 1 so i can just leave it as it is now this becomes i can write down this as 32 times of 2 is uh, 64 so this becomes a positive 664 i'm sorry for that divided by r cube so this is 64 over r cube so this is the expression that we get for uh, second derivative two. now we have to plug this into this and determine which uh, if it gives uh, if it is uh, greater than zero or less than zero so if you can observe we know that uh, this is a positive quantity this 0 0.18 is uh, just a number positive quantity and this 64 by r cube this is also going to be positive quantity uh, it, uh, uh, since r is positive here this is always going to be positive so when you add two, two positive quantities uh, definitely we are going to get uh, a positive quantity only so second derivative is greater than zero so according to the calculus uh, rule if the second derivative is uh, mag uh, is positive then it is a point of minimum or we say point of minima so we have just confirmed that at this value of r that is uh, r equal to 3.84 centimeter our function which is the production function is minimum which means the production is minimum at this value of r so we have successfully determined the radius corresponding radius where the production is minimum now we can find the corresponding height so we know the relation for the height which is 400 divided by pi r squared 
So we simply have to substitute this value of R into this to determine the corresponding height, which we will do now. We have to do 400 divided by pi times of R squared. We plug in the value of R, that is uh, 3.84 centimeter. And when we do this uh, into the calculator, we get the value of R approximately equal to 8.63 centimeter. And uh, finally, we have to find the production. So we will use the P of R relation. We know that the simplified version of uh, uh, production function is 32 by R plus 0 0.09 pi times of R squared. So we will plug in the value of R, which is uh, R equal to 3.84 centimeter into this production function. And when we need to do that, we get uh, 32 divided by 3.84 plus 0 0.09 pi times of 3.84 quantity squared. So we can plug this into the calculator and uh, we approximate the production. That is the cost. It uh, comes out to be 12.50 cents. So we have answered all the three questions which are part of this question. We can complete that information over here. We know the radius is uh, 3.84 centimeter and the height is uh, 8.63 centimeter and the minimum cost is 12.50 cents.